Hey Taj, it's so great to see you. Thank you so much for joining us and for being our creative obsession this month. Um, we are so inspired by you and Wear Brims and everything that you do as a creative. And we'd love to just talk a little bit about your experience overall and ask you a few questions. Um, and mm -hmm. then we can show you a sneak peek of the film if you're interested. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. I, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of this <laughs> special project. Yes, I was very excited. Of course. Um, well, maybe you can take a second to introduce yourself to the people who don't know you as, you know, part of our community, um, kind of where you started and how you got into creating Wear Brims and, and where you're at now. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Taj Crutch. I'm originally from Queens, New York, by the way of Enterprise, Alabama. I'm an Army brat, uh, so I bounced around a lot growing up. So them are the two places I call home. Um, yeah, I started Wear Brims with my business partner, Archie Clay III, in 2016, where we came up with the concept to create a luxury fedora company. Um, really didn't have any blueprint to start our company, but this kind of went on went on our three pillars, with this, which is faith, family, and confidence. And we just try to tackle each one of them every day with any ideas or any um, creative thoughts we have. Um, basically, just trying to start something new and switch the narratives out here. You know, yeah. We didn't go to fashion school, so we kind of basically had to do our work and do our research to kind of understand what we were getting into. But we feel like we're tackling a lot of things right now. 100%. I mean, you guys are entrepreneurs, creative entrepreneurs. So you, you kind of come up with the concept of your hats yourself, and then you had to figure out how to manufacture them and, and get them into stores and all of that. It must've been Correct. quite a process. Do you want to talk a little bit about you know, that leap of faith that you took in 2016 and, and not really knowing anything and figuring out how to bootstrap it. And now you're in international retail stores and, and you're kind of all over the place doing really cool things. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, um, yeah, we just really, like um, you stated, we just had to kind of do our leg to leg work. Yeah, you know, put, put in the, those hours to kind of understand our product in and out um, to really know what we're getting into. Um, know the market that we get into our customer base and what type of story you want to tell with each one of our hats mm -hmm. um at the same time we had to describe our our foundation of our company because without understanding your product and understanding the manufacturer and asking these questions you really don't know what you're getting into or you're going to get a lot of backlash and you're going to get a lot of um uh, bumps in the road if i would say uh so really doing that research, finding the perfect manufacturer, again, your samples was kind of tough for us in the beginning, because like I stated, fedoras was not like a easy thing to come around and do, mm -hmm. especially um, African-Americans. So right. um, we really had to um, do our homework. We uh, found our first manufacturer in New York City uh, when we first started. Um, and for people that looking for like vendors or things that they need to do to kind of um, create uh, whatever a brand they want to create. There's a website called Makers Row. Mm -hmm. Makers Row, and that allows you to go in there and research what you want to create or produce, and they'll pull up vendors and different things for you to reach out to and contact. So you can start, you can start there um, just for people that need that information. So that's a good way to start. And we found our first manufacturer there. And then, um, we started with them. Of course, our sampling came out pretty decent. Our first sample came out real good, as a matter of fact, but the <laughs> second and third wasn't as wasn't as good, but um, we stuck with it, but we wasn't asking the right questions in the beginning. Right. So they're gonna they're gonna give you what you ask for. Yeah. You know, long as you pay them, they're gonna give you what you ask for. So we really have to do more work. So we me and Archie say it um all the time, those those first two years is basically our basically the, the learning curve years, you know, just kind of understanding what we really have and if it is something and kind of diving deep into wear brims. And um, once we got that figured out, our current manufacturer that we use now reached back, reached out to us because we reached out to them first and never reached out. They never said anything back to us. They responded back to us and it was like, hey, we see you're doing good work. We want to work with you now. Uh, we were looking like, now you want to work with us, but we didn't let <laughs> Yeah, we didn't let them not um, responding to us, stop us for what we were trying to accomplish. So 
like we tell people everything come back full circle just you know yeah. kill people with kindness and kill people with success you know what I'm saying then yeah it'll, it'll come back around yeah 100 percent. i mean that sounds like a story full of ups and downs and and really i understood what you said when you're saying that you aren't asking the right questions i've been there as an entrepreneur mm-hmm. myself where i you know add something or do something or start something and i'm like this is great but like you know, you think you're doing it right. And then you, you realize this could have been better if I had known what questions to ask, or if I had known Correct. that I actually need this person or actually need this thing. Um, you know, it, it could have saved you a lot of headache and a lot of time loss and a lot of money lost. Um, yes, so money like, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Cause making those samples are not cheap. I imagine. Um, I know my dad. No, was, samples are... Yeah. They're expensive. No, go ahead. I'm sorry. I was just going to yeah. say, my dad's working on a project and, and his prototype is $10,000 just, just for the prototype, you know? Um, and I'm yeah. sure it's the same thing with, with the hats. Yeah, they're, they're very expensive. Of course, your sample is going to be more expensive than your production. Um, so that's why you have to make sure you get it right. So you can make sure when you pulling out those masks of products and stuff like that, you know, your hats are gonna come well for us. Our hats are gonna come exactly like our samples. So. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So, I want to hear more about the process of of how you make the hats and and all of that. But I'm so curious. What were you doing before you and Archie started Wear Brands? Well, for me, uh, my story is a little different from Archie. I was in the IT field. I got my uh, bachelor's degree in information system, which I'm still currently working in. Yeah. Um. So. I'm still in corporate America, and um, so I'm corporate America and a full-time entrepreneur. So I have double the work, uh, yeah. but at the same time, I don't trade it. I don't trade it in for anything. But Archie, he um, he was in HR, um, coming out of college, but then he went full force right into Wear Brands. So he's 100% Wear Brands, which yeah. I appreciate my business partner for that because yeah, uh, we, we wouldn't be where we at now without him taking that leap. Totally, you know. 100%. Yeah, so so you know, so he had it. He took that lead for us, and I appreciate him for that. But um, at the same time, when I tell people that is that is in corporate America and doing um entrepreneurship, is you really don't need to have an excuse because yeah. that's the choice that you chose. You know, what I'm saying if you want to do this, you really got to give 100 percent on both ends. So yeah. you might not get as much sleep. But <laughs> the ending goals, <laughs> the ending goals should be, you know, sweet at the end. So if you just, you know, focus on what you really want to do, then, you know, it will pay off. It definitely will pay off. But um, it's been hard, definitely been hard uh, in the beginning process. And to this day, we're still learning and still figuring out things as we go. Um, like I say, we didn't have a blueprint. So we're doing it from scratch, from the bottom. But at the end of the day, when our journey gets to a certain peak, we can tell that we know every aspect of our company. We did this in third, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Everything we did from the bottom up. So we know. So that's the sweet thing about it. Yeah, absolutely. It sounds like, you know, all of these things that you're learning are going to be, uh, you know, you can replicate them kind of easily within your business. So you're learning something and then you do it again and do it better the next time and do it faster the next time. Um, right. yes. What? what are you guys working on now and like you know what's been the journey from like you know figuring out that you wanted to do this and then starting it and then you know making all these mistakes and now you have several lines out like and and you were in stores and you you have celebrity like people who are wearing your hats and and you're in publications and all of these things like what has been like that process like and what's next that process has been tricky um because you know everybody got to see somebody wear the hat first right. or, you know, some people, I, I, I love some of our brands family because they just love our product and they just buy it just because they love what they see and the quality that we provide them. So I appreciate them for that. But, you know, you have some other, you know, buyers that, you know, just got to see it on somebody or yeah. see how it's being styled before they do it, which it's okay. You know what I'm saying? But I just tell people just, you know, own your own confidence, you know what I'm saying? Right. You, you know, just, be that be that unique first person to start something so take that leap on your own without having to see somebody do that um i feel like that's 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 an, that's a i guess a title for fashion anyway because yeah. some people 
it takes that one person to try it first and then that then everybody will like oh I love those shoes or you know yeah, exactly. Kanye wears Stan Smith right and then everybody wears Stan Smith after that so you know <laughs> that's all it takes but um and that journey's been hard because we've been uh pushing since 2016 and of course we thought our product was the hottest thing on the streets we want everybody to wear it exactly. We're reaching out to people dm and then we sliding in dms we letting them hey <laughs> we we <laughs> We have this dope luxury brand. Please check us out. You know, people reading them, not responding, or we sent, we're gifting hats and they're not posting. Or which right. other, so you get all that. You get all that in the beginning. Um, but so, but we don't. You don't let that. You know, define you. You know, so you keep it going. Keep dropping dope product. And uh, that's why Archie would say, "Oh, don't wait." Like keep up. He's very passionate about that too. So he he'll get a little he'll get a little upset. Like yeah, why they didn't post? But you know, what I'm saying at the same time. Uh, we both we know the game and we understand it, but so we just got to come harder, and it's just a I guess a challenge for us. You know, we don't take that as like a disrespect or anything. We just make it feel like all right, eventually you're gonna want to yeah. have this, and then yep, exactly you won't then be the able to have it. <laughs> <laughs> then the tables are turn. Right. Um. But no, it's been it's been a blessing. Um. From beginning, you know, reaching out to people and they're not reaching back, but then you know making strategic moves and placements that allows you to show that okay you're a legitimate you know business you know what I'm saying? so people are really um i would say taking us serious you know people yeah. are really taking us serious because now we're placed in nordstrom's as the first african-american yeah, luxury that company that's so exciting and thank you thank you yeah it, it, it still hasn't hit me but it hit it hit me a little <laughs> bit here and there when people reach out and um when the shade room dropped our stuff and like that and they wanted to celebrate us for Juneteenth that was that was dope because I didn't expect that to happen I didn't even know how to even get on shade room <laughs> <laughs> so when you they, think when you they have to do something there, bad to get on shade room like <laughs> that's what I'm thinking that's what I was thinking so that when I when I put the post I was like we on the shade room for a good reason <laughs> so <laughs> so yeah that that was good and then now people reaching out to us and um uh, a lot of people just you know falling in love with the brand now uh it's just um I, it's some people was already falling in love they already rock with us in the beginning but you know some people needed to see that you know those stamps yeah which is okay right you know, to, to, to fall yeah. in love with it now but now we're just working our new our second collection is about to release in Nordstrom um pretty soon in a couple months exactly. and then now we are thank you thank you <laughs> we're about to release in another in another store really soon as well Top secret. Yeah. Uh, it's not top secret. Um, y'all my family, so I share with you. Okay. Well, y'all my family, so uh, we'll be releasing it on Neiman. So. Nice. That is so cool. I mean, I I came across you guys. I think through the gathering spot. I I'm not in Atlanta, but I'm subscribed to the newsletter and and what they're doing and what's going on with them. And they they mentioned you all. This was a while ago. This was a long time ago, I think. Um, and I was just, like, oh, this is cool. Shout out to Archie for that, <laughs> because his, his relationship with the gathering spot, yes, yes. Yeah, totally, but but you guys, I was just like, this is really cool, I read up on you guys, and um, and kept you at, in the back of my mind, and we were thinking about uh, the new exclusive, which I don't think I've actually talked about it on our social yet, we're, we're starting the teasing uh, process of that yet, but mm -hmm. I was thinking about, you know, bringing on luxury brands and Black-owned brands, um, into the fold and to be a part of this, uh, to be a part of this film, uh, you guys are the first ones that I thought of. And I reached out to Archie and was just like, hey, <laughs> like hey. <laughs> I, was, I was cold emailing, you know, a bunch of people in, on LinkedIn and, and didn't think I'd get a response. But Archie was like, hey, what's up? This sounds like a good idea. Let's get involved, let's mm -hmm. do it. Yeah. And I was just like, this is crazy. And it all kind of happened really fast, but um, so excited that you guys were uh, agreed to partner with us and and to be a part of this because um you know we have big goals and a big vision for industry collective and where it's going next and and really want to be um actively collaborating with with brands and and creatives and creating something that feels like you know this utopia or this place that we've always needed um so i'd love to talk no, i was so excited i was so excited when he uh came to me because he was like i got a dope they got i got a dope experience for us we can get be a part of like yeah. let's get on the call so when we got on the call with y'all it was just ecstatic I me mean, i was showing us the concept the the title and 
uh, basically the breakdown of the pictures and everything. So I was just like, I was, I was ecstatic. I was ready to get there. <laughs> Honestly, Listen, I, so I'm, I'm sorry if I blew your, sorry if I blew your phone up or anything. <laughs> but I was ready to get there. <laughs> Not at all. Honestly, I feel like the feeling is mutual. We were just so. I feel like we were on the same wavelength, and we were just ready to collaborate and hit the ground running and actually do something. There's so many, you know, people right. who talk about doing something, but then you flew a red eye. <laughs> From Atlanta to LA yeah. and then got on a plane like 12 hours later to go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Like that's how committed you Vegas, were. Vegas, yeah. To, yeah, to Vegas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. To yeah, I had to change everything around. So once you told me the dates, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm going to be there. I'm going to make sure I'm there on time, day before, whatever. I'm going to make sure I make this. This is special. I had to be a part of it. Thank you so much for saying that. I'd love to hear about your experience um, with the story and, and kind of how it resonated with you specifically um, and mm -hmm. what, what that process, because I don't think you guys have done it. Like, a, have you done a film project before or anything where you're like, no. you're showing your faces in it? Yeah. So, so what was that like? Never. That was important because we kind of offered like, will you guys send us some hats and we'll like put them on our, our influencers, but you guys are like, no, nah, we're going to be there. So we'll be in you know, it. Yeah. <laughs> how, why was that important to you to be, you know, kind of not just sending the, the product, but to be the face of the product? Um, I think it's important uh, for us to, we wanted to join this project because we seen how special it was when y'all presented it to us. You know, we seen not only do we, we, of course, if anything, we would definitely send hats because we know the, the bigger picture, but we were like, well, let's join this big picture. You know, um, why not put our face with, the uh, the brand, you know, want people to show exactly who is behind um, where brands and what what are we what are our challenges and our our goals that we are trying to uh, reach, and so people can feel that energy when they're watching it as well. Uh, like, um, unfortunately, my business partner wasn't able to make it, so I had to kind of represent the brand for both of us. But we are a reflection of each other, so whether you see me or him, you know, what I'm saying you're going to get that same energy, you're going to feel yeah. where brand. So. I just, we just felt like we just wanted to be a part of it because we know this is a special project. Um, this, we, are, we are the new era for all of us and we're taking back control of what is below, what belongs to us, honestly. Yes, yes, 100%. I am right there with you. That's kind of the goal. And, and the title of the project is called The New Exclusive. And it's a short film project that we're going to be putting out in a little bit. Um, we collaborated with creatives from coast to coast um all over the place we did most of it virtually via zoom and google meets and like every saturday we were in a meeting you know and, mm -hmm. and trying to make it work across time zones and you know disciplines and all these things and we just kind of came together in los angeles and we were able to get this gorgeous house um and really show you know luxury and creativity mm -hmm. and um it was it was a great time i had a great time and i'm so happy yeah i was very very i was very very impressed um <laughs> with everything how to set up production everything was uh amazing um it's a great great opportunity uh, i greatly appreciate y'all for housing me and make sure i was good and everything like that so i really do appreciate that it felt i felt comfortable so that was key that was key good i'm so glad to hear that i mean i'm hearing this for the first time so it's like i'm like yeah. We're really happy to do that. I'm glad that it was a great experience for you because we loved having you. Uh, yeah. Sad Archie couldn't make it, but you know, happy we got yeah. to do and, and work with you in person. Um, oh, thank yeah. you. You got the calm version of Wear Brown. If Archie was there, he would have turned it up. <laughs> you know, I believe that from the calls that we've had. <laughs> yeah. I believe that. Um, but, you know, I guess switching gears, how did you end up picking? like Archie as your partner like how did you guys or how did you pick each other how did that partnership come to be honestly honestly be frank he picked me in yeah. a sense because um and it's so weird because um backstory uh Archie called me with the uh the idea like hey let's start our own company but little did he know um for like a year or so, I was thinking about creating fedoras, and the, but I was just gonna buy them and then design them and then sell them like that. I didn't think about creating them from scratch. You know what I'm saying? So he had a bigger picture. You know, he when he called me, so I'm like in my head, I'm like this is too good to be true in a sense that I was, I was yeah. thinking like this, but why he? Why are you calling me? You know what I'm saying? Because Archie, he went to another school. He's my frat brother. We joined Alpha Phi for fraternity, but he has other 
uh, line brothers that's doing good things. They're very smart and creative as well. But um, so I was just kind of caught off guard when he gave me the call. Um, yeah. So um, I looked at it like, okay, is this a sign? Like, you know, this is something I wanted to do, but now he's calling me up there. So I, I didn't pay him no mind in the beginning when he called me. I just like kind of brushed it off. Right. But then he called me back the next day. He was like, look, I'm dead serious, bro. Like, let's, I, I make a role. I was on there trying to figure out where we can get our manufacturer, yeah. um, how we can produce this stuff. So I'm like, yo, he's dead serious. So wow. we just sat down, brainstormed names. I, can't, uh, I told him my grandfather always you know, referred to a hat as a brim. So yeah. he was like, that's it. That's perfect. So we, we stuck with brims and then we adopted wear brims and um, we just ran with that. But um. And I asked him about it. Well, I didn't too long ago. Somebody asked him that question. He was like, what made you call Taj? And he was like, um, and that was my first time hearing that question. He was like, uh, my influence and my styling was, and, I, and he knew I was creative. So he was yeah. like, I had a business mind, but I needed somebody that had that other mind over yeah. there. So only first person I thought about was Taj. And I was just like, wow, that was my first time hearing it from his mouth. And I, cause I, never, I never asked that question. So I was just like, it was good to hear that my business partner respected me. Um, same amount of respect I have for him, he has for me with my creativity and my my thought process. So that's awesome and so true because we asked you to bring a rust suit and you already had <laughs> you had like a rust <laughs> suit and who has a rust suit, you know? Um, so you definitely have style for sure, and that's yeah. important for anyone who sees you. Thank um, you for sure. Um, you know. I think it's important for people to hear when they're they're talking about you know starting something new, and they're thinking about bringing on a partner or collaborating with someone. Sometimes it's not the right fit, you know, and that's a really mm -hmm. tough thing to deal with. So how do you know? I'm sure every as every relationship, every business relationship, whatever has conflicts and issues and, and miscommunications. Mm -hmm. You know, how do you kind of work through any disagreements that you might have, or you know, how do you know that this is the right fit? Obviously, it is. It's been five years, and you guys are still going strong. Um, I just I tell people all the time it starts with communication. Yeah. But it ends with respect. Mm. You know, it starts with communication, but it ends with respect. Um, at the end of the day, you no, know, no matter what, like everything is not peachy. You know what I'm saying? But we know how to communicate with each other. We know how to sit down and talk through things. And we respect each other to listen. And we respect each other to go back and forth with those dialogues and make sure that this company is a legacy at the end of the day. We both yeah. have the same goal and we understand that. But at the same time, we know how to uh, talk with each other. So it's just that that's key when it comes for us. You know, and I tell people that all the time. Like when you working with an individual, especially friends, you yeah, know what I'm saying you gotta have that respect for that person because yeah. that can kind of mess up a relationship. If if not, hundred percent, a hundred percent. You know, it comes down to to being able to have the hard conversations and not, you know, be emotional about it at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, this is business. Correct, exactly. Yeah, because a lot of what we do with Industry Collective, most of the people who work on this project are my friends. You know, we started out as friends, mm -hmm. and we're all just kind of like trying to figure it out. Um, and, and, you know, sometimes it's challenging and sometimes you find that you learn how to talk to people and you learn how to really collaborate. Um, and I think it's really special when you can find that one person who will be in it with you, you know, like you said, have that mutual respect and, and uh, be able to go the distance with you. All right. And I commend people that, you know, is out here doing everything by themselves as a, a solo entrepreneur because I, it's hard. It's definitely hard. Like yeah. sometimes I can't make I can't make things, or sometimes he can't make things. That's where we can bounce off yeah. each other and stuff like that. So I commend those that's, that's doing that, and then the people that are doing, you know, have partners and stuff like that. You know, have that communication, have that trust, mm -hmm. um, build that trust. You know, sometimes you got to build it. You know, but at the same time, pull your weight on your end. You yeah. know, hold yourself accountable as well as others. So. You know, be be open to criticism and be open to construction. Um, and then, but um, we'd be good to go at the end of the day. Yeah, that's so valid. That is so true. Okay, I'm only gonna ask you a couple more questions. Um, do no, you have a dream collaboration or you know someone that you would kill to work with? Dream collaboration, somebody I can work with. That's that's a good question. Um. I would say my dream collaboration would be with 
it for my dream collaboration i would want to collab with private with kiss nice the brand based out of brand based out of new york city um i just love how they do their collaborations and how they do work with different brands to kind of uh, build that out but if a dream person i would a one person i would like to solely work with uh would be kanye yeah yeah that would be i i think just to see kanye would be like my individual person i would love to work with just to sit down and pick his brain and then see what he would come up with with the fedora you know what I'm saying just kind of oh that would be exactly ideas yeah because he does something that he haven't tapped into but i'll just be wondering what his first thought process will be yeah that would be cool well call kanye and see what he says <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah i need to hit somebody up <laughs> use linkedin dms it works apparently <laughs> Uh, see, DMs work sometimes, but some people it's hard to get in contact with. Sometimes right. you just gotta let your, let your 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 product yeah. talk for you. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Okay, cool. Um, I thank you so much, Taj, for joining us. Um, for this Monday morning coffee conversation and for being our creative obsession this month. Um, we are so inspired by you. We learned so much from you today. So many great things that you said um and i can't wait for everyone to see the film for you for them to see you in it um and definitely check out where brims um you can find them in Nordstrom. you can find them in the and um coming soon coming soon coming, coming soon. soon and you can find them online at what is it wherebrims.com www.wherebrims.com and all our social media platforms is where brims perfect um is there anything you want to leave us with um, I just want to leave people with, you know, uh, whatever you're striving for, whatever you're doing, make sure that you're focused on what you wanted to, your ending goal to be. And with anything that you do in life, make sure you own your crown. And when I say that, I mean, make sure you are confident in what you do and don't switch up for anybody. Own yourself, own your thought process, own your design and be yourself. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really great. Thank you so much, Todd. No problem.